Hi there, my name is Mrs. Jenkins. wanted to take a look with you today at transformations. Now transformations are things that kind of map an initial figure onto a final figure and it's called the image. Now there's different tr types of transformations. We're going to look at two. There's translations and reflections which we'll look at. There's also rotations and dilations. The first one that we're going to take a look at though is a reflection. A reflection is kind of like looking at your own figure in the mirror. In a figure like this, however, a transformation occurs when something is flipped, a figure is flipped, according to a certain point, line, or plane. If I have this figure, the blue triangle here, and I call that triangle A. If I wanted to reflect that across the y-axis, if I were going to trans reflect it across the y-axis and transform it in that way, would I end up with this figure here, A, or would I end up with this figure here, B? Think about that and then make your choice at the bottom of the screen. Reflecting across the y-axis, this is kind of guiding as my mirror, and this one here, choice A, would be the reflection. This would be donated, denoted like that. Now, I could also go ahead and reflect it a different way. The original A, I could reflect across the x-axis. That then would look like choice B here. This would act as my reflection. I would be reflecting it over a line. This line here, the x-axis. Now the second one we wanted to take a look at was a translation. A translation is another type of transformation. And it occurs when you move all points of a figure the same distance and in the same direction. When you think of a translation, you can kind of think of what's called a slide. The whole thing is going to slide. It can go right, left, up, or down. If you take a look at the figure that we have here once again, I want you to draw it out, but I want you to slide it three units to the right, first of all, then go ahead and from that point, then slide it two units down. See where you end up. When you've gotten your answer, click Continue. Let's start by going ahead and translating this three units to the right. Look at the three vertices that we have here. Let's move this one three to the right. One, two, three. If we move this one three to the right, one, two, three. Moving this one, two, three, we end up right here. So translating that three units to the right, we'll end up with this triangle here. Now we'll take that same thing and let's move it two units down. So the whole thing slides down two units. Where do we end up at? Well, we end up right here. I hope that's where you ended up. Our starting position here, three units to the right, is one translation. Two units down would be another. I hope that this has helped you better understand a little bit a couple of the different transformations. If you need any more help with your algebra homework, you need to sign up for Nutshell Math. I hope I'll see you there.